Good morning, folks. This actually occurred two days ago. We had heard rumors that X-37B landed, but here's the official video out of Vandenberg. The first of many missions is over. This is a good article on ancient climate change making a green Antarctica. Greece kept shit from hitting the fan for a bit longer. Remember, global debt is exacerbated by stagnated growth in India and China, and France is apparently just going to let their government shoulder more and more of the burdens. Earthquake activity is rising worldwide. A 6.4 hit off Japan yesterday. It was a global ringer with L waves seen across the globe. We also had some smaller tremors of concern, like this quake swarm off the Kamchatka coast. Big volcanoes there. Largest quake of the year within the borders of Yellowstone. Tennessee saw two quakes yesterday. Another quake swarm on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and way down there, a five-pointer hit the South Sandwich Islands and a moderate tremor off Madagascar. This well-defined low is a major typhoon. Looking one day later, it's slightly north and it is going to swing slightly northeast and slam Japan head on in the coming days. We had a gamma burst last night, first one in about a week coming out of the constellation Aquila. To locate at sundown, when the color fades and Mars, Saturn, and Arcturus are making a triangle, look west for the largest star in the horizon, and Altair is smack in the middle of that constellation. You will notice heavy bombardment waning as we enter the morning hours here on Ovation Prime. The orange here on the solar wind plot is the density, and it is coming down slightly from three major coronal mass ejections, still not back down to quiet as we approach 48 straight hours of magnetic storminess. You can see the horizontal disturbance in our outer magnetic layer here, tons of induced resonance on the planet, and of course that little 1400 uh, anomaly we see every day, multi-line frequencies ascending from the baseline. And both the F1 and F2 layer critical frequencies took a jump, indicative of temporary over-ionization of that ionospheric layer. We could have another CME on the way. This plasma filament ripped off yesterday. It's difficult to see exactly how much of this is coming at Earth, but it appears some impact is likely. Got a few more dark thin filaments on the center disk. If you watch the lower left, it's a good thing that eruption went that way. And on the bottom right, we do have the potential for more eruptions, but I see a bit of magnetic harmony building uh, in this departing active region. Planetary bodies sitting in a row at sunrise. The moon lines up with the sun tomorrow. Quake activity is rising globally. Eyes open, folks. That's the news. Be safe.